And it goes a little yeah. something like back to my channel. Today I decided to make a video where we talk about 10 must-have ingredients that you have to have when you're eating hot pot. And yeah, I have a friend with me today. She's camera shy, but she's gonna be eating with us. So I'll be talking to her and she'll be commenting throughout the video on how good the food is. And yeah, let's dig in. Okay, so today we have two soup bases from Heidi Loud. These came pre-made and all we had to do was like cut the packages and put it inside like hot water and so to our left to my left is mala okay so this is Sichuan mala um just like spice in english it's called peppercorn peppercorn numbing that's like numbing to the taste i okay. guess to your tongue and then this is just a tomato soup paste and they're both from like the hot pot restaurant called Heidi Lao. and you can buy that at like any asian supermarket Okay, what are we gonna start off? I love like starting off with meat. So let's start off with the beef. I'm just gonna put it in the hot. I feel like the mala brings out the beef flavor more. It's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Mm. So we also have a sauce on the side that we can dip like all our ingredients with and um, the underlying ingredient is just saute sauce how do you explain to saute it's basically ground peanuts okay mm -hmm. ground peanut sauce with cilantro green onions so white good. vinegar and raw egg i really like this meat though oh my gosh it's pretty bomb right i know okay so the next one I'm gonna go with is fish ball. This is a fish ball with fish roe inside. It looks like this after we put it inside the hot pot, but beforehand it'll look smaller and you'll know it's cooked once it's expanded, like once the water and when it floats. Yeah, once it's expanded and once the ball floats, that's when you know it's cooked. <sighs> Can you sense my excitement? Do you listen so long since I ate this? <laughs> Mm, this one's good. Yeah? I like it. When you bite into it, that's kind of like the juice that kind of oozes out. Yeah. And like the the fish roe is like really like, it's kind of like popping boba. Mm, that's right, that's it's like, right. It just pops like every, with every bite. That's right. Mm -hmm. mm. Next we'll go with another fish cake. Okay. Okay. I'm down. This next fish cake has egg inside. It's like fish cake on the outside with an egg and carrot filling. Let's try this. Mmm. It's like really airy, like fluffy. It tastes exactly like egg. It does. It's so good though. So my next must-have ingredient is Tisa does not like this, but I literally love this so much. This is called <laughs> coagulated pork blood rice cake. So it's basically pork blood solidified form mixed with sticky rice together and they make it into this like cube. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Honestly, it just tastes like it just tastes like a regular sticky rice cake. <laughs> Dude, this one's so compact. It's so good. The texture. Mmm. Mm. So today I'm going to be drinking, or we both are going to be drinking Taiwan beer. It says it's world class beer brewed in Taiwan. I feel like it just it suits like so perfectly like with hot pot because it's like cool and refreshing. That's true. That's true. Next, I'm gonna go in with this. This is um, bean what is curd this called? Skin. Yes, bean curd skin. It's like made into this super t like thin texture sheets. sheets. Yeah. 
and it's kind of like noodles, but it's, it's literally just bean curd. Mmm. Mmm. Is this the fried one or is it not? Mm hmm. I'm not. It's, it's not, not fried. The texture is like very, very bouncy, very chewy texture. It's so hot. I would even eat it, bro. <laughs> okay, so our next ingredient. So we're gonna have taro. You shouldn't put the taro in for way too long just because taro is in itself is it's basically like potato. Like the mm -hmm. consistency um, is like potato, um, like rusted potatoes. So if you put it in for too long, it gets really soft and it kind of ruins your soup base. So you don't want to put it in for like more than five minutes. Yeah, I'm used to eating my taro with what's it called with sugar with raw mm. sugar i'll dip the taro in raw sugar and have it like that but what this is like we basically fried raw taro beforehand deep fried raw taro beforehand and then boiled it so that it's like softened again mushy mushy mm -hmm. that doesn't sound appetizing but it is <laughs> it is trust me it is it's really good especially if you dip it in raw sugar so good mm -hmm. of course Okay, the next one we're going to be having is mushrooms, specifically enoki mushrooms. I really like this because it's kind of like, it reminds me of like noodles because mm -hmm. it's just so thin. Yeah, I just really like it. Um, and it has like a crunch, so it's not like, it's not like- It's kind of chewy too. Like it just soaks in all of like your soup base flavors and it's, yeah. <laughs> Okay, next we're gonna have lamb. Lamb is my most like I think it's, this is the top one, <laughs> top one for me. Okay, same for me. <laughs> this is like the must-have every time I have hot pot. I'm gonna put this in the peppercorn. You already know. You my already is know. Gonna go in. <laughs> Three seconds, it's done. You just take it out and eat. Mm. Oh, better good. than beef. Lamb forever. Lamb in my sauce, lamb with my rice. Honestly, if I had hot pot, if I had a top one, if I made a video just top one, it has to be this. Like I can eat hot pot all day with just lamb. Dude, that's what that was what I wanted to do. <laughs> we were living together. But everybody was like, hot pot again. <laughs> I think that's it. I think we tried everything. I think we tried everything on screen. These are our top ingredients that we would pick every single time if we were to have hot pot but i think that's all we have for today hope you guys enjoyed our video and if you like our video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time <laughs> <laughs>